Visual versus prosaic kind of thing going on in your head? I, I did think it couldn't be filmed. I didn't actually set out to say I'm going to write something that can't be filmed, but I, I wrote something without any regard for, for uh, length or complexity or budget or anything like that, and my assumption was it couldn't be filmed. So it is, you know, one of the strange, the strangenesses of life that it uh, has, has become this very successful television series. Um, certainly there are things about uh, about the books and their structure that is uh, influenced by my years in Hollywood. I mean, the the viewpoint structure that I that I established, uh, particularly with each chapter ending, hopefully leaving you want to know what happens next about that character. That's a television act break, which I learned to do working on Beauty and the Beast. You know, you have to in America. I know you you guys on the BBC and stuff don't have uh, these commercial things that we have, but uh, we're we're always faced on. Uh, television writer, particularly a network show, how do you get them back uh, after you cut to the toilet paper commercial? And, uh, you know, you have to end on an act break, which can be a cliffhanger, but it doesn't have to be a cliffhanger, a moment of rising tension, a revelation, a, a twist, the introduction of a new character, death of an old character, lots of uh, things can go out on an act break that will intrigue you and hopefully bring you back after the commercials. And it's a great technique, and I've, I've used it in 